Yer. You already know what it is. Welcome to another episode of In a Timely Fashion. It's your boy, Divine, aka Alan Flyverson. Yeah, you already know what it is. Welcome. We here, we back. Another week. You know what week this is? Gobble gobble. Oh yes, Thanksgiving week, man. So um I'm just here to entertain y'all while y'all eat. <laughs> but uh we got some good, we got some sneaker releases coming out for the holidays. Some dopeness. We're gonna talk about that. And you know, last week I brought up uh the draft, NBA draft last week. Well this week we going um we're gonna see and talk about some of the fits that they decided to wear for their first day in the NBA. Uh, and we got a new blogger this week, new uh, blogger slash influencer that y'all need to uh, pay attention to, I guess you could say. Shout out to Devin on deck. Uh, we're going we gonna to get into that and all that. Uh, yeah, man. We're going to talk about some things. So you already know what you got to do. You got to sit back, relax, and take in some of this dope. You already know what it is. Right, sneaker releases this week. Sneaker releases this week. We got first up the Nike Kobe 5 Pro Tro Bruce Lee and Bruce Lee alternate. We got the Bruce Lee pack that came out um, on November 24th. Um, that's it. Really. <clears throat> came out on November 24th. Nike sneakers app. Uh, this was uh, when it first came out. This was definitely a highly sought after uh, sneaker or whatnot. Um, these are cool. These are cool. Nostalgia, you know, for uh, for 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 Kobe Bryant, you know, God rest his soul, Mamba. Um, these are going for 180, 180, November 24th. You already know you got to cop up, cop up if you can. I know it's gonna be a lot of L's. Uh, moving right along, moving right along. We have Ambush by Converse Chuck Taylor All Star Duck Boot and Chuck 70. Um, these are actually interesting. These are interesting. Let's just let's, let's go with the with the boot first. Let's go with the duck boot. I'm gonna keep it all the way a buck. I'm not that mad at these. Not that mad at these. These coming out November 24th. 160 for the duck boot. 160 for the duck boot. Um, I'm I'm not mad at these uh these these blue joints or these black joints. These are high. Uh, I think you could do these. Definitely some rain boots. Some some all purpose. All weather type boots, uh, snow. Get these off. You can still be flying in snow. Hey right, man, I, I'm really, I'm really kind of shocked, like how dope these are. Um, yeah, yeah. So I would say, I would say cop up, because this is definitely something made for for the cold that's that's coming up, especially if you're here in New York. You're here in New York, you know the cold is it gets crazy. I gotta keep the toes warm. Gotta keep the toes warm. Yeah, these are these are alright, man. I'm not mad at these. I I think I think I like both colors, man. Uh, I think I would rock both colors. Yeah, these are cool. Uh, let's just go into the, the the Chuck 70. The Chuck 70. These are going for 140. Whoo! These are different. These are different. Got the first situation. I guess it's it's the winterized or whatever the case we want to call it. Yeah, these are different. Um, ah. I'm gonna say these are not for me, but I, I I will try to pull these off. I could pull these off. I think um, for the person, the right person to pull these off, you definitely have to have uh, a, of course, a dope style or whatever the case may be. But um, yeah, yeah, nah. These these are the color wise. I'm not mad at the blue, the blue on it. I'm not mad at this. But again, this is 140. Um, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? I don't know when I'm looking at these, they just look like some joints that uh the outcast wore back in the day. I don't know. This look like something that they're with big boy or somebody like that. Um yeah, moving on, moving on. Okay, we got the uh Peace Minuso. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'm gonna just butcher it just for the fun of it, because that's what we do here at Close Down. Peace Manu Song by Nike Air Force One, Paranoise 2.0. Uh, these are interesting. These are interesting. Um, it's just some Air Force Ones coming out November 25th. This looked like a DIY situation. I guess that's what kind of make it kind of cool. It kind of adds to it or whatnot. It has a, has a little flower on the tongue. These are kind of cool. Got the little paint scrapes on the, on the, on the sole of the shoe. It looked like he just kind of did the paint brush strokes or whatnot. These are going for 200 coming out November 25th. 
November 25th Nike sneaker app. So uh, apparently this is from uh, G Dragon, and um, <clears throat> this is a uh, uh, this is designed behind a K-pop superstar brand. Um, with Nike collab that they did or whatever the case may be and uh, yeah this is, this is what they came up with you know it's the it's, it's a leather has the, has the big laces the fat laces as if it's um as if it's uh the shell toe type of vibe so that's different that's different so uh, yeah if you rock with them cop up cop up moving on we have the Pharrell by Adidas NMD HU core white Last week we talked about the black pair. This is the white pair with the black laces. These are kind of cool. These are kind of cool. November 25th, $220. These are right, or whatnot. Um, uh, yeah, these are just a, a chill, monochromatic style and everything. And I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. Cop up if you can. Not much to say. It's clean. These are clean. All right, all right. Oh, you know you can't talk about sneak releases without a what? Say it together, class. A Jordan, yes, yes, a Jordan. Air Jordan 6 Singles Day. Oh, Singles Day. To all my single ladies and single fellas out there. These are for you. Um, I'm a single fella, but these are not for me. I'm cool on these. Uh, these are, I mean, you know what? Don't get me wrong. I can see people going crazy over these. I can do some things with this. I could do some things with this, but um, the, the, the front part, uh, that's a little extra. It's a little extra. I think I would take I would take off the extra stuff on the front and just leave the, the black with the uh, pattern up there. Uh, anyways, these come out November 25th, $210, $210. Um, yeah, so apparently this is like a, it's like a, a silk, silken pattern with a special Chinese knot and a lucky charm. So that's what the, the Jordan logo is like a lucky charm. Uh, and then a Chinese knot. I don't know when I say lucky charms, I I, I feel funny saying it right. I say, oh, me lucky charms. I gotta say it like that, I don't know. Me lucky charms. Uh, <laughs> lucky charm. Um, but yeah, this is uh, all based off of Chinese heritage. Uh, Singles day. This is the annual intersection of loneliness <laughs> Yo, they really know how to drill in that you are alone, fam. Sorry, you're single during this winter <laughs> and you're lonely. So we're gonna celebrate this intersection of loneliness. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, these are interesting. These are interesting. Uh, so cop up if you can, $210. November 25th, Nike sneakers out. Moving on, we have the Nike Air Max One Lemonade. Yeah, that was the, the beat dropping for Gucci Lemonade. Oh, whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these are the Nike Air Max One Lemonade. They had the pink lemonade, I believe it was last week or two weeks ago or whatnot. Um, this is the lemonade. Refreshing, again, this is very refreshing for the fall. I would think this would be like a summer type of vibe, but you know, you know me, I wear colors all year round. I don't care what, what color it is. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, like I said, the Nike Air Max 1. The yellow is a, is a nice pop. I'm not mad at the pop. It's just that the extra pattern on the sneaker, if it was just clean, I would, I would kill these. If it was just clean, not just the, the extra graphics. I'm cool on. I like the green laces up there. The pop of the green laces. That's dope. Uh, this is going for $140, November 25th. Nike sneaker out. Cop up if you can. Cop up if you can. Okay, we getting into uh, Slam Jam Asics Nova Blast. Slam Jam Asics Nova Blast. This is a collab with Slam Jam. Um, these coming out November 26th. 165 of them things. 165 of them things. Uh, spending as much money on some ASICs is, is tough to do, but um, these are interesting. These are interesting. Um, this uh, this is a good training shoe. This is a good training shoe. But you know what's crazy? I would actually dress these up. I would dress these up on some cool, on some cool uh, 
chill, laid back type ish. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love, I love the suit and sneaker look, and these would be dope with a suit. Yeah, mono, monochromatic fit on top. Uh, do it with some chinos. A uh, nice sweater. You know, keep the keep. I, I would do the sweater and the pants the same tone, whatever the color may be, and just have my and have these sneakers on some different. Yeah, these these are. These are actually kind of dope. I'm not mad at these. I'm not mad at these. Uh, but yeah, 165, November 26. You know, cop up if you can. Moving on. Again, we can't talk about sneaker releases. If it's not Jordans, then it's what class? You guessed it, Yeezys. Adidas Yeezy Boost 380. We have the Onyx coming out. Onyx Reflective and the regular Onyx. Um, slam! Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, that's for my old heads that know when you say Onyx, that's what you think of. Slam, right? Yeah. But now we talking about um the Yeezys. These uh these are going for two uh two fifty for um the reflective and two twenty for the regular. Um uh, these are um these are eh, these are uh, you know I could get these off, but eh, I'm not going hard for them. But again, you know, Yeezys, they gonna go hard, they gonna sell out, do what you do. And I'm pretty sure they, they, they're super comfortable. Um, yeah, so comes out November 28th. The Reflective come out November 27th. Uh, November 28th for the non-reflective. Again, 250 for the reflective, 220 for the non-reflective. So, you know, decide on which one you want. Moving right along, moving right along. We have Atmos by Staple by New Balance X Racer. Crow and Pigeon. We all know when you see Staple, we know that Pigeon is going to be somewhere in there. And uh, he got it on the New Balance. Yeah. Remember the the, the, the Jeff Staple um, Pigeon joints, the dunks that he did? Those are infamous. He brought it to the New Balance. I'm, I'm not that mad at these. I'm not that mad at these because, you know, that, that Pigeon colorways is always fire. It's always fire. And then he did a collab with Atmos. Uh, these are going for these are uh, coming out November 28th. Going for 135, 135. You can cop at Atmos. Yeah, these are these are high. These are high. New Balance, man. New Balance. Y'all have not let up this year. I give it to y'all. Y'all have not let up. Y'all not playing any games. Not playing any games. But uh, yeah, cop up if you can. November 28th, 135. These are kind of fire. Definitely, definitely. Uh, and um, of course, last but not least, you already know how I feel about these things. Air Jordan 4 Fire Red, OG, OG, need these in my life. November 28th, 200, 200 for the men's, 150 for the uh, GS, $80 for the preschool, and $60 for the toddler. If you want the whole family to be on they ish, y'all can be on y'all Jordan ish. I'm not gonna say y'all can be fly because the sneaker, that's not even half the battle. That's 25% of the battle of being fly. Uh, we, gonna, we gonna get into that too. We gonna get into that later. Um, yeah, cop these Nike sneaker app, Foot Locker, Champs, all this. This will be general release. And I'm gonna say it like this, as I always say, these are general release. So don't worry, if they sell out, you will be able to find them. Don't rush and go get to the resale. If they sell out, wait a little bit, they're gonna restock. They're gonna restock. But these are hard, you know everybody's gonna go after these. These are OG, I definitely need these. I need these, need these, need these. This is the first time they came out with the Nike back in the OG silhouette, the OG, color, um, the OG colorway since 1989. They re-released in 2006 and um, 2012, but it never had the Nike back. It wasn't the original. And the silhouette was a little off, you know. As a real sneakerhead, you pay attention to details. I don't like calling myself a sneakerhead, but I am into sneakers and the details of all these different uh, Jordans. The silhouette is a little different, a little off. The leather is different. This is the closest it got back to the original. I'm all about the original. Uh, the the other retros that came out, they had the Mars Blackman on the side. That was cool and all, but get Mars Blackman out of here. Shout out to Spike Lee. See you, homie, but I don't need your face on my sneaker. Yeah, these are dope. These are dope. Need these. Need these. 
Um, and that's how we're going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap up sneaker releases. As always, if you do cop up on anything, please hashtag close down. Hashtag close down. Or you can just DM your boy. You can DM me at Devon and Conquers or DM me at close down. You know, let me see what y'all y'all fits, man. What y'all working with, man. Let me. Matter of fact, I want to see y'all Thanksgiving outfits. This is a challenge to y'all. I want y'all to send me your Thanksgiving outfits next week. I'll post y'all up on the show and we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna let the world see what y'all what y'all doing. Cause y'all, y'all say y'all fly out there, right? Alright, let's see it. I wanna challenge y'all. If I gotta do this every week, I'm gonna do it every week until I start getting some pics flooding in. Alright? Cool. But uh yeah, that's it for sneaker releases. Moving right along, moving right along. <music>Okay, okay. Like I said, the NBA draft, it happened. So you already know, we got to get into the outfits because that's what we do here at Close Down. Uh, but I'm a back, big basketball fan, so you know a lot of these players, talented, talented athletes coming into the league. But are they great dressers? Let's see. Let's see some of the, some of the, the flyness that's coming into the league. Um, let's start off. Number one pick. Number one pick, Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards. He kept it all away, G. Because, you know, this year they had to do a virtual, you know, because of this whole, you know, COVID situation. Um, they did it. They did it from home. And you got to dress however you wanted to dress on, on some comfortable. He didn't even put on a suit. Shout out to Anthony Ed um, Edwards, the number one pick. Uh, he's going out there to cold Minnesota. But he's here. He has the ripped up jeans. He has a Gucci jacket with the uh, the um, the Don C Foot Locker collab T that uh, Don C did with Foot Locker. Uh, yeah, this situation is uh, it's 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 very you know it's a draft day fit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show him love just off of the fact that he did something different. He was like, I'm sticking to myself. I'm not even gonna throw in a suit. So I respect him for that. I respect him for that. Um, and. Um, I, I, I wish I wish he wouldn't have wore the ripped up jeans. If you had more, you know what I mean, more casual, um, more like uh, solid black jeans, it would have been cool. But um, I'm, I'm glad that he's comfortable. I'm glad he's comfortable. The Gucci jacket, I like that. It's it got one little Gucci link. It's not ODGs everywhere. It's just a subtle Gucci. You can't even tell it's a, a, a Gucci jacket until you look at the little link on the um on the chest. Yeah. So um, you know what? Not mad at this. Cool. Shout out to Anthony Edwards. Uh, moving on, we have um, the number two pick going out to Golden State, James Wiseman. James Wiseman. He, you know what I'm saying? He's comfortable too. I'm not mad at the checker suit, man. I'm not mad at this. It's the plaid suit. I like this blue color. It's like a till with the with the uh, the blue. Not mad at this. I'm, I'm cool on the socks. He didn't have to, I mean, I get it. He's a basketball player. He got to do the Nike socks. He didn't have to. He could have threw some dope socks on. And he ended off with the classic Concords. Because that's just, you know, that's always going to be classic with a suit. Um, I'm not mad at this. It's like a tuxedo situation. Yeah, yeah, I like the pattern of this. Um, and he, again, he had the t-shirt. Uh, he had the t-shirt with um, Just Don. I mean, with, with uh, Just Don collaboration with Foot Locker. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, I'm actually not mad at this look. This is a cool little look. Shout out to his stylist, man. Shout out to his stylist. This is cool. All right, let's just shoot up. Let's see what the number three pick look like. By the way, I'm not going to go in order. I'm just doing the top three like this, and then we're just going to skip around. Uh, number three pick, LaMelo Ball, going out there to Charlotte, to the Charlotte Hornets. Shout out to uh, the Ball family back at it. He kept his real simple. Kept his real simple and had to do the pop with the, the shoes. Um, talk about the suit. I'm not mad at the fit. It's cool, you know what I mean? Nice little slim fit. And um, the big old chain, he got to show that he made it to the league, so he do what he do. I, I would have went against that. But um, all black situation, can't go wrong with it. The shoes, though, I'm, I, I'm, I'm cool on the shoes. I just feel like... I just feel like it's it's over for for for, the, for, for that that style for me, you know. I, I want to say these are Louboutins. I'm, I'm assuming it has the spikes and all that. Yeah, I'm I'm cool on these. I'm cool on the shoes. He could if he would have done something different, this would have came out fire. But um, hey, but shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? 
going out to Charlotte, do his thing. I'm looking forward to see what he's going to do in the league. Should be exciting to watch. All right, let's jump around, look at some of the other players. Now, now this, this is where it gets interesting because a lot of players seem like they had the same stylus. So before I get into that, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into uh, let's just jump around real quick. Okay, we have uh, we have um, Tyrese Maxey. You know, um, I believe he's going to Philly. He's going to the 76ers. I'm not mad at this. I, I like that he did the pattern all over. I mean, it kind of got that feel that uh, when you bought a set, when you like, oh my, oh my, youth that used to go to church or whatever, or the youth in church now, whatever. I don't know how it is now, but back in the day, we was in youth choir, right? So when we would get our outfits for the the uniform for the choir, we would get the shirt, and it came with the tie. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have the jacket, but he got the whole jacket, the whole suit. Everything just going together. I'm, I'm not mad at the pattern. And, you know, he kept it simple. I'm curious to see what's on his feet. Uh, I, I didn't get the final picture of the full outfit, but, you know, he kept it simple with the whole pattern being the same. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not mad at this. I'm at, if, if, his, if his footwear was on point, then yeah. Um... Moving on, who else we got? Who else we got? We have uh, we have Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes. He's from overseas in Europe, uh, I believe. Uh, where did he go? Where did he go? Uh, it's gonna bother me. Um, whatever. Um, I'm not mad at this. I guess it's the European look. I'm not mad at this. The all black. Again, like I said, when you do the all black. You can't go wrong, really. I, I like the fit of this. Um, I'm not a fan of the big logo showing uh, the brand. You got the Louis Vuitton logo on, on the belt. But then he tops it off with a whole different color on the foot. He has the off-white fours, the cream. Y'all, I'm not mad at this. All black and then do it with the cream? This is all right. Shout out to Killian Hayes. Good luck to him in the league. I'm looking forward to see what he's going to do. Because, you know, he got the, the, the mock neck situation. Um, I would rather the turtle, turtle. But, you know, the mock neck is cool. Keeps you keeps you cool and warm at the same time, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Killian Hayes. Moving on. Oh, you know, it's not a draft night unless you have the fun, bold pattern. We got here, we have uh, uh, Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton. Um, this is a, a grayscale. I did, I did grayscale. I did a, a spotlight on grayscale. Shout out to grayscale um, a couple weeks ago. Um, and this is a, this is an interesting pattern. This is an interesting pattern. This is definitely a different floral pattern. He definitely stepped out and, 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 and had to do them right. I like the burgundy on his side. He got the black lives matter because black lives always matter. Um, and this is uh this is actually kind of cool because I'm, I'm not mad at the color yeah i like i like the color that that they chose with the blue and then the flower um yeah man yeah man this is this is all right i'm gonna let him get away with this one i, I like the, the color contrast is really dope uh yeah i'm rocking with this one rocking with this one uh who else we have <clears throat> we have um we have cassius stanley <sighs> from out of duke but the boy can ball um, he's out here, he just got drafted. His is clean, his is clean. Charcoal suit with the white button up, real smooth, real clean. And then on the feet, he got the Dior Low Jordan 1s. I'm not mad at this, man. I'm not mad, this is clean. This is clean. He kind of did that. Not mad at the Dior Low 1s with this. Yeah, he did his thing. This is kind of clean. Shout out to his stylist. Okay, we, we, come on now. We got we got some 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 stylish jets coming into the league now. I'm, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. We have uh, your boy Precious, your boy Precious from out of the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? I see you, boy. He uh he got the. I, I'm not mad at the blue. Again, you can't go wrong with the turtleneck and a suit. He's chilling. You know what I'm saying? Kept it with the African heritage with the hat situation going on. I can dig it. Uh, yeah, this blue, I'm not mad at. He got the brown shoes on. I like the color choice of the shoes. Not that big of a fan of the design of the shoe, but I'm not mad at the color choice of the, suit, of the uh, shoe. But this suit color, 
fire. And I like that he did the, the white um, turtleneck with it. I like this, I like this. Um, what we can say is they definitely stepped up from uh, the bull we seen from back in the day that I was talking about last week. Yeah. Um, moving on, moving on. Um, what else we got? Oh, oh, we, come on, you, you know, you know, we got, we have to discuss, of course, from, from New York and with the UNC, Cole Anthony, your boy's outside with it, let's get into it, we got the Dolce Gabbana jacket, and then the regular black pants, you know what I'm saying, again, I'm not a fan of these, these slippers, uh, shoes or whatever, loafers, um, the jacket, the jacket, yeah, it's cool, it's cool, I rock with it, I rock with it, I let him get away with this, you know what I'm saying, because you know, he, he got a little edge, UNC and New York, come on, can't be mad at that, um, but yeah, shout out to Cole Anthony out there with the Orlando Magic, do your thing, boy, I'm, I'm looking forward to see you play for sure, do your thing, um, now, this is what I wanted to get into, this is what I wanted to get into, well, so, obviously, this year, it looks like, some of the guys had pretty much the same stylus, right? Um, let's just get into what, what I mean by this. First, we got Kenya Martin Jr. You know what I'm saying? Mock neck situation, suit, not mad at the suit. He got what on his feet? The Alexander McQueens. All right, cool, I see what he doing. RJ Hampton, turtleneck, blue suit. Got what on his feet? Alexander McQueens. Okay, okay, I see, I see what you're doing, you know, it's, that is in, in the trend, or whatever the case may be. Let's go here. We have, uh, we have right here, Khalil Whitney, khaki suit, white turtleneck, take a guess what's on his feet. You got it, Alexander McQueen's. And, uh, these are definitely in trend. <laughs> it's, it's so funny, because I, I was reading the comments, and it says, in Serbia, these sneakers are fuck boy are the fuck boy go to one on ones? Well, sir, that's not just in Serbia. That's also here in America, cause these sneakers are super in trend, and these are the joints that all the fuck boys want to wear. So you know, if you want to know if somebody ain't shit, oh, look at the footwear. Oh, you see, you see what's on my feet? Yeah, I'm gonna do you dirty, girl. <laughs> you see these McQueens? I'm gonna do you dirty. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I just thought that was funny. I thought that was funny. Everybody got the suit with the turtleneck, because again, you can't go wrong with that. But then with the McQueens on, yeah, man, that's just very interesting. And shout out to the new New York Knicks, uh, Obi Toppin. You know what I mean? You're gonna go out there and kill it. Got the red situation on, not mad at this. And also shout out to Emmanuel Quickly. Yes, them boys gonna hold it down for my New York Knicks. Yeah, yes, I am a Knicks fan. Say something. Nah. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah, man, shout out to all the, the draftees of the night. Y'all did y'all thing. Good luck to y'all. Looking forward to seeing y'all. And, um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. NBA draft night. 2020. Virtual. <laughs> Moving on. Alright, so we're going to get into our fashion blogger slash influencer of the week. And this week is your boy, Devin on Deck, man. Devin on Deck. Shout out to Devin on Deck. Yo, first off, he's crazy with his edits. His content game, bananas. Super stylish dude. Uh, uh, his content is it's always fun. He's always doing something cool with his pictures, his videos. When he posts them, I look forward to see just how he's going to do his edits. His edit game is crazy. Um, his style is very monochromatic. I love monochromatic. Like, that's just my my, my joint. Um, and, um, yeah, yeah. Let's, shoot, let's just get, get right into this fit. Uh, okay, we got right here. We have, uh, he has like a, 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 like a sandy, caramel, desert type uh, vibe going on here. This um, color, not mad at this. I like that he, he just kept it simple with the monochromatic hoodie and he has the, uh, the chinos on and then he just threw on the red and black Air Force Ones. I like that. I like that. Keep it monotone up top, pop a color on the feet. I like that. Yeah, this is dope. This is dope. Uh, and then he has the black and white in the background with him in the color. It makes his fit pop even more. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. 
definitely like those. Definitely like those. The, the Air Force Ones kind of got like an old school feel, but it's like a gum bottle. Yeah, this is this is dope. This is dope. Um, let's see what else he got. I like I like that he has the uh, he has right here. He did the um, it's like a like a charcoal pant, and he has this this nice uh, long black jacket with it. But I like that he did the gray sneaker, the light, the lighter gray sneaker with this charcoal pant. This is dope. This is dope. Again, that monochromatic look, fire. He did his thing right here. Yeah, man, this is everything is just, just dope, man, because his background and the crib. This crib is fire. This is out in LA. Uh this he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. I'm not mad at this at all. You know? Um what else he got going on? Not mad at this at all. He has right here. Again, this is also that that fun edits that he do with the big head. Not mad at this pause. Uh, but I like this color. Real simple. You know what I mean? Uh, with the pop of the, the Nikes. I'm not mad at this. The Nikes are kind of cool too. I like this color, man. I like this color. Um, he did that. He did that. But yeah, he's definitely known for his monochromatic. Like, it, okay, if you want to match and be matchy matchy, this is how you be matchy matchy. All right, this is how you do the matching. You know what I'm saying? This is this is dope. This is dope. Not mad at this at all. Um, yeah, yeah. Devin on deck, man. Devin on deck. Y'all definitely go check him out. Check him out. But there's one thing I did want to talk about that he spoke about. Um, he did a video clip what is the difference between style drip and fashion I loved I loved his definition I love this definition I'm, I'm actually you know what drip style fashion shout out to all the young kids y'all talk about the drip and all that cool cool have the drip I'm drippy da, 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 da. that's cool I never want to be drippy personally that's just me because drip is all trendy, trend, trend, trend. Alexander McQueen's on the feet, that's drip. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but that's when you see drip, it's because whatever's popping at the time, yes, you have it on and you're doing it right. You know what I'm saying? So that that's that's what I would call drip. Now, fashion. Fashion is what's again this is it's, it's it's what's trending but what's trending amongst the high-end fashion world on the runway um uh and 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 everything that they do on the runway it's 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 going to elevate it's going to elevate a lot of brands they just keep up with all the the, the fashion trends and it's a lot of people that keep up with the fashion trends. You know what I'm saying? Like now they go on the, the wider leg, the baggier clothes, the, the 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 bigger sweaters, the bigger clothes. Like that's becoming a thing. So you know you start seeing people wearing that. Um, so that's more fashion, which I'm not mad at that. I do a little bit of fashion myself. But then you have style. Style. That's what I like to do. When you see when I when I think style. I think that's who you are. That's your personality. It's like forget all the trends, forget all the drip, all everything you see on on the runway. That's cool. That's cute. But I don't need that because I'm gonna do what I do anyway. I might buy little pieces of of what's trending out there, but I'm gonna make it my own. Like I'm a fan of Air Maxes, you know, Air Maxes that's 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 you know they're in style. Um, I'm a fan of Jordans, that's obviously gonna be a trend and in style, or whatever the case may be. But when I put my Jordans on, when I put my Air Maxes on or whatever the case may be, I'm gonna put on one the outfit and you'll be like, oh man, I would have never thought to wear that. Cause I hear that all the time. You know what I'm saying? I hear that all the time and I think that's what style really is. Style, you make style. Style don't make you. Fashion trends make you. Drip make you. When you see when we when you see somebody drippy or they have a drip fit, the first thing you say is, "Okay, I see you with the McQueens on. I see you with the Gucci's on. I see you with the X Y Z's on." You go straight to whatever they wearing, a piece that's trendy, whether it's on their feet, 
whether it's a jacket, whether it's a hat. I see you, but with style, Damn, fam, okay. This whole fit is all right. I see what you're doing, fam. You don't talk about one article of clothing unless it's coming from somebody that really don't know much about uh, the fashion world or know about what's dope or whatever the case may be. So then they'd be like, yo, I like those Jordans, even though your whole fit might be fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll never forget. I, this is not big up divine time, but you know, it's my show. We're gonna big me up. <laughs> I was out, this was recently, I was out, it was raining, a rainy day, you know, rainy days, you know, you do what you do, it's, everything is light. I was in a Nike store, employee came from across the other side, he said, I just came over here just to tell you that your fit is fire. I was like, thank you fam, I appreciate that. And then he broke down my fit, you got the, you got the, uh, what are the Nike uh, blazers on or whatever, you got the raincoat situation. I like the color of your, your fit. That's why I do it. You know what I'm saying? Style. I'm not trying to fall into the trends. Whatever I wear can be worn 10 years from now. Shoot, I still wear stuff from eight years ago, 10 years ago or whatever. That's just what I do. That for me is what style is. So, you know, what I preach to people that want to be fashion forward, create your own style. You know what I'm saying? Don't follow the drip, follow the drip. <laughs> House party yeah, reference, you don't have to. You ain't got to follow the drip. Create your own style. You ain't got to follow the trend because your style is who you are. The clothes you wear reflects on your personality. That's how I see it, you know? Um, yeah, man, I don't want to go in too deep on that. I, I, I'll save that for maybe one of my other shows, maybe podcasts, whatever. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's. Uh, shout out to Devin on deck. Please follow, follow him. Um, also, follow his YouTube. Really dope video content. Um, yeah, man. Shout out, shout out to your boy, man. And, and I appreciate you for inspiring me to even go down that whole little, you know, style, fashion drip breakdown. I appreciate that because uh, I, I, lo I liked your uh, I loved your breakdown too. You, you you definitely broke it down great. Um, I just had to give my take on it because I know a lot of people talk about it. Uh, but yeah, that's it. And on that note, and on that note, we're gonna end it off right there. You already know what time it is. I'm gonna need you to first off like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. If you're watching this on IGTV, like and follow your boy if you're not following already. And subscribe on YouTube. Please subscribe on YouTube and like this video. Show love. Also, follow at Divine and Conquers. Follow at Close Down. Follow the other shows because you know what? Your boy's working. Follow at Across the Board Show. And follow Bold underscore Head underscore Thoughts. So you already know how we're going to end it off. I am not a stylist. I'm just stylish. Feel me? Two fingers. Seem a little occupied. Baby, you see through.